In this video, we'll be finding limits at infinity of a function that has two horizontal asymptotes. We'll need to consider the limit as x approaches positive infinity for the function 3x minus 2 divided by the square root of 2x squared plus 1. And we'll have to consider the limit as x approaches negative infinity for f of x equal 3x minus 2 over square root of 2x squared plus 1. And the reason for that is because when x is positive, then the square root of x squared is just x. But when x is negative, x is the negative square root of x squared because you have plus or minus on that. So to find the limit analytically, we need to divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x that's in the denominator. Let's do the limit as x approaches positive infinity first. We'll want to divide top and bottom by x or the square root of x squared. So we have 3x over square root of x squared minus 2 over the square root of x squared. And then that's over the square root of 2x squared plus 1 divided by the square root of x squared. Now using this substitution to simplify here, this first term becomes 3x over x minus 2 over In the bottom, I'm not going to use that substitution. I'm going to make this fraction that has two separate radicals into one single radical. So I have 2x squared plus 1 over x squared. So I'm finding the limit as x approaches infinity of, this simplifies to just 3 minus 2 over x. And then the radical here simplifies to 2x squared divided by x squared is just 2 plus and then 1 over x squared. Now as x approaches infinity, we know that this fraction approaches 0 and this fraction approaches 0. So our limit would be 3 minus 0 over square root of 2 plus 0. And that simplifies to 3 over the square root of 2. Now let's do our limit as x approaches negative infinity. And the only difference is we'll be, uh, when we divide by x, we'll be dividing by negative x squared. So we have 3x over a negative x squared minus 2 over a negative x squared. And then the bottom again, we have square root of 2x squared plus 1 divided by a negative square root of x squared. This fraction simplifies to, in place of a negative x squared, I'm going to put an x in, so 3x over x minus, and in place of negative x squared again, I'm going to put 2 over x. And 
in our denominator, we'll, we'll bring that negative in front and make it a single radical. 2x squared plus 1 over x squared. So I'm finding the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 3 minus 2 over x. And then on the bottom I have a negative square root of 2x squared over x squared is just 2 plus 1 over x squared. Now as x approaches negative infinity, this fraction approaches 0, and this fraction approaches 0. So I have 3 minus 0 over a negative square root of 2 plus 0. So our limit as x approaches negative infinity is going to be 3 over a negative radical 2.